that tells me that tells me i shall go for adding 1 and 2 adding 1 and 2 what if i add 1 and 2 what will i get 1 um, when i add 1 and 2 can i say it is angle 2 plus angle 4 is equals to angle 1 plus angle 3 that means i have added the rhs simultaneously I have to add the lhs also right children now what when i add angle 2 plus angle 4 i shall get angle a angle addition property here as it is i don't have any other answer right now right now now once again ask question 2 question now when i am asking this question to question that what a part of a you want the question answers me i want plus c also am i having plus c here am i having plus c here no i shall say add plus c on both the sides when i say adding plus c on both the sides so will i get angle a plus angle c angle one plus angle three plus angle c this we can do maths allows us to do so what does math say that if you want to add something you are supposed to add on both the sides lh is also an rhs also now when i add angle c to both the sides lhs is the same mind you my lhs is the same but what is 1 plus 3 plus c sir 1 plus 3 plus c this angle c we need to focus in triangle bdc so in triangle bdc sum of measures of all angles in a triangle is 180 so which are the three angles we are talking about in triangle bcd 1 plus 3 plus c 1 plus 3 plus c sum of measures of all angles in a triangle is 180 we are done check the blue part check the red part this is skeletal mind you this is skeletal as i said i want my children to understand the skeletal solution why if they understand the skeletal solution they can always write down agree or disagree are you getting me right so if a plus c is 90 i can say quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral since if one pair of opposite angle is supplementary quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral i hope you have understood this if you want i shall say once again for smaller circle one two angles in alternate segment that is one equal to two for larger circle three equal to four again angles in alternate segment then i asked question to question what do you want the question answers i want angle a how can i get angle a two plus four that tells me i'm not asking you to rectify the answer i'm not asking you to rectify the answer at no point in time i shall say my students ratta maro no one equal to two three equal to four question saying that i want angle a 2 plus 4 is equal to 1 plus 3. So what is 2 plus 4? Angle A. 1 plus 3 as it is. Then once again I ask question. What do you want other than A? The question answers me. I want plus C. Adding plus C on both the sides. Then 1 plus 3 plus C is nothing but in triangle BDC. Sum is 180. Why? Sum of measures of all angles in a triangle is 180. Sum is done. But we are not done. We are yet to write down the main solution. So with the help of, we'll write down, start, we start writing down the main answer. So what is the main answer now? How to start off with, you are now aware. How to start off with, you are now aware. Now I can say directly, angle uh, first, it is B, D, B, C, D, B, C, congruent to angle B, A, E equation number one reason angles in alternate segment angles in alternate segment angles in alternate segment first one done also what next three with four angle which angle b d c b d c is equal to congruent you can say what e a d e a d equation 2 what is the reason absolutely the same 
what will I do thereafter? You can follow. You can follow your skeletal one. It's very easy now. Adding equation 1 and 2. Now I'm taking my RHS over here as LHS and LHS over here are RHS so that we follow the same one. So adding equation 1 and 2, it is BAE plus EAD is equals to DBC plus BDC. Now, what is BAE plus EAD? This is nothing but angle A is equals to DBC plus BDC. If you want, you can write down angle BAC, BAD also. Instead of writing angle A, you can always write down BAD also. Yes, children. Here I shall give one simple reason which is very much needed. I though verbally said, those who have paid attention, I have verbally said at this juncture, angle addition property. Reason is what we are supposed to. We are supposed to say angle addition property. Because when we added these two angle, what I got is angle A. When I added this two angle, what I got angle A. So angle addition property. This is what we have to go for as a reason. Now, now I shall say adding angle. Adding angle C on both the sides. What are we doing? Adding angle C on both the sides. When I add angle C on both the sides, angle A plus angle C is DBC plus BDC plus angle C. Yes, children? Though I have written directly, since it was a skeletal one, we cannot write down. As you are aware, we are writing all statements and reasons. So we have to give this as equation number. Say this is my equation number 3. Now focus in triangle B, C, D. In triangle B, C, D. So I shall say in triangle, in triangle B, C, D. Angle D, B, C plus angle B, D, C plus angle C is 180. Equation 4. What is the reason? Sum of measures of all angles in triangle is 180 degree. Sum of measures of all angles in triangle is 180 degree. So now I can say from equation 4. What is third KLHS? It is angle A plus angle C is equals to what is the RHS? DBC plus BDC plus C. And now when we know that DBC plus BDC plus C is 180, can I say 180? Can I say 180? And therefore I will say, therefore quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now we need to write down the entire reason. So I'm writing this reason with a different marker so that you can understand this. I'm writing this reason with a different marker so that you can understand this, what we need to. If in a quadrilateral, if one pair of opposite angles are supplementary, then quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral. Do we have one pair of opposite angles supplementary? Indeed, yes. Therefore, the quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral. Quite simple, children.